All right, so today we're working on some headlights, but they're a little bit different than your typical retrofit aftermarket headlight. They're special. <laughs> so we're gonna start getting to work on those. But first, in order to do that, we have to take out ugh, all the old stuff. So let's get to taking out the old stuff. <laughs> You just got that one bolt there and that one bolt there. So let's take out this bolt here. There we go. And then this one. There we go. Like that. And now we go over to this one. This one's really easy. It's just got one there and then it's got some zip ties. <laughs> right. Zip ties, I gotta go get my zip tie cutter. There we go. Uh -huh. Now the headlights are ready to remove. The headlight, you pop it up from here. Oh. Pin the clip right there, that's hard to get out, so you just kind of yank it. Like that. So I'm gonna take these three screws out to get my turn signal separated from the headlights. So take your little eight right here. They're a little rusted though, but yeah, normally, normally you can get them. Yeah, easy. Now this just comes off like that. Turn signal, ta-da! So, these are the new headlights. And I know what you're thinking, huh, those aren't headlights. Well, they are, they're SAE, SAE, I think that is. They're street legal, and they're basically going to go in the old housing. They're gonna be put right into there. And then they'll work perfectly, and they'll look amazing. So this guy right here is an adjuster but I think it's also to get that out. So I'm gonna try to get that out. I think I am. Could be wrong though, it might not. Oh, it does, okay. So I got it out already, so I just gotta get the other side out now. Push it me. There we go. Oh, it's like a popper. See, it's like a, it's like a ball joint. I wonder if I could do it. Just let it sit in here. This goes into here. I soon realized that the way I was thinking of mounting it wasn't really going to work. So we had to come up with a different solution. Not the greatest solution now that I look back on it, but it was the thought that counts. <laughs> so we figured out how these are gonna mount. It's a little complicated, but not super complicated. So you normally should use the two bolts, but in order for mine to work, I'm only gonna use one bolt. And it's basically gonna go, see this little hole? It's where the factory headlight used to go. And it'll fit right there and you'll be able to adjust it and then tighten it. And yeah, we'll put a little brace right there, but that's how it's gonna fit, guys. Phil is over here making some custom mounting brackets for me out of these little aluminum rods right here. Bracket here. Oh, that's gonna work so good. Once we got the headlights installed, we realized this actually wasn't going to work. The way that was it was mounting, there was no support for the turn signals and there was no support for my grill. The lights were basically pushing the grill away, making it very hard to open my hood. So I did run these lights for a little bit of time just because these were the only lights I had. And I got a bunch of people flashing me their high beams. Why? Well, because they're basically LED off-road spotlights. So yeah, they were a little too bright and not the greatest for headlights, but Really good for like if you want off-road lights. <laughs> um, but I eventually got a better set of headlights that I put in and now I'll show you that part. Some fresh bake headlights, anyone? Do you want fresh baked headlights? Mmm, yummy. Alrighty, we got my headlights here and we're gonna start figuring out how to put these headlights together. These are the factory housings. And I'm gonna be taking the factory housings 
and I'm going to be putting a Jeep headlight <laughs> into these factory housings. So it's going to be a little uh, interesting to get that to work, but we're going to try to get that to work somehow. We'll figure it out. So we're going to end up having to cut this housing that originally held the FJ Cruiser's housing in order to fit this back of the headlight into there. So Phil is going to be my assistant today. He's going to help me cut it. And yeah, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> so dusty. <laughs> Headlight's gonna go in there. Headlight's gonna go. Oh, yeah, that fits good. Yeah. Fits so good. Very exciting moment. Been long awaited. Is it? Is it lined up right? Do we need to cut? Well, level it, it out? Won't, well, it won't line up perfectly, but I mean, that's still gonna work. I think it looks sweet. It's gonna look sweet as long, yeah. Can't wait to see it. RGB, right? Ox beams. RGB. RGB ox beams, baby. Yeah. Hey, I got RGB ox beam headlights too, babe. <laughs> They're sweet. I love mine. Heck yeah. Super bright. Heck yeah. Oh. <laughs> RTV silicone sealant. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. This will do. So, I have the headlight set squirt up exactly through. how I want it. So we we're gonna, gonna squirt. All out. Now we're gonna squirt from the bottom. What? Did we not get enough help? <laughs> ah! That's a good sign. Oh, there oh, we go. oh, oh. I'm seeing it. It's coming out. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. You want me to squirt it more? Come on, come on, boom up. They're coming. Oh, they're right behind you. So our headlights have dried for a day, and we're going to take them over. Thanks for the headlights. So now, we are taking off the old headlights. We'll see if we can actually find the right socket. You wonder why she says that, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> and I still don't see a half-inch ratchet. <laughs> he needs a half-inch ra ratchet. Baby, there's a, a adapter. I only have an adapter. I don't actually have a half inch. I'm kidding. I do somewhere. I'll go find it for him. We're putting the headlights together now. Look at this. It's coming together. Whoa. It's actually going to look really cool. good. Oh, yeah. That will look good. A little bit. The side to side is going to be an issue, which I was a little worried that it might be a little pink eye. Whatever. <laughs> Why do I not see Phil in the same country? He does. He just Apparently, because he knows all the songs. Oh, he... Headlight going in. Oh, it's Caddy Wampus. <laughs> Caddy Wampus. Right. Caddy Wampus. Shoving it in now. Oh, it always sounds dirty with me. <laughs> all right, shoving it in. All right, now we got to put it in that hole. And we hit it in, and then we go like that. Yay! Ah, oh, they're a little crooked, but yeah. Really they look crooked. awesome. All right, so the reason that I did Jeep headlights in my FJ uh, is because I wanted something different, yeah, but also, well, I wanted something different. <laughs> uh, no, so the real reason I did it, I tried to use these in the beginning. These are not headlights. These are off-road lights, and they're super bright. So, like, a bunch of people keep kept flashing me on the road. The reason I did this, though, is because most of my headlight is held on by zip ties, and so it would rattle a lot while I'm driving. So I'm hoping the way that I mounted these, it's not gonna rattle and it's not gonna wiggle loose. That's what normally happens. We'll see how they last, but so far I'm loving them. They're bright, they're good. I haven't tried it at night yet, so we'll see what it does at night, but so far they're working good. And yeah, I might've did them a little odd mounting silicone, but eh, you know, whatever. Ooh, dang, son. Dang, these are way cool. Ooh. Ox beams for a Jeep thrown in an FJ. Heck yeah. <laughs> wow. I know you can't hear me, but wow, that's really bright. Woo! That looks good. I like that. Ooh. So you know how I said my headlights are all held on by zip ties? So let me show you what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> it really is. A zip tie. 
Zip tie. Zip tie. Zip tie. Zip tie. There's so many zip ties. Look at that. That is how my headlights are held on. And yeah, it's a little ghetto looking because yeah, this isn't going to be there and like, but it works. So, all right. So now, goes into those holes right there. So yeah, it's held on by this. And then guess what's going to be right here? You guessed it. Zip ties. <laughs> Dang. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect looking, but I mean, from far away, you can't really tell it's off-centered, but those look really nice. I really hope they stay in. If they don't stay in, at least they're plugged in. And if they fall out, they're just going to be attached to the plugs, and then I'll just have to re-silicone them or do whatever, contact cement. I don't even know. It's plastic with silicone in it. I don't know how that's going to hold up off-road. I mean, it's gasket sealer, so I figured if that can seal engines should help hold a headlight in but again engines are held down by bolts as well so normally it's just a seal for water so i mean we'll see if that holds Ah! <laughs> almost tied up we just have to do the wiring for the um rgb all right so we're going to be wiring up the halos that's this guy right here wire it directly we can ignore these just a quick test to see it work i haven't crimped it I just have the little wire in the battery right now. They're just sitting in there, but um, they definitely work, the RGBs, and they're controlled by in my Switch Pro. So right here, turn it off and they should be off. We'll go check, make sure. Yep, they're off. Make sure, good to go, good to go. Of course the wind kicked up when I was close to done. Normally I use a heat gun, but I don't have a power source right now, so I'm just doing this. Sweet. Pretty much all done. They're working. Yeah, it's good enough. This is why I love my life. And that's where she'll go.